if a child had a very high fever, wasn't focusing, the light bothered his eye, and the pediatrician said he's concerned about a serious infection, what is that all about? Well, I, I think the pediatrician might be concerned that the child has a high fever and is not acting normally. In other words, his brain function is not acting normally. Sometimes that can be, some children get like that when they have a high fever. So the first step would be to decrease the fever and see what the child looks like. If the child has a decrease in fever and is normal, then the pediatrician will be reassured, the parents will be, will be reassured, and everybody goes home. If, however, the fever comes down and the patient is not acting normally with a fever now that it's come down, uh, then the pediatrician would have to worry that there is a more serious infection in the nervous system, such as a meningitis, which can be sometimes bacteria, or a virus that can affect the spine and the brain itself, which would mean the patient would be transferred to the hospital and undergo imaging of the brain and looking at the spinal fluid to be certain that there's not an infection causing this change in the, in the, the baby's behavior. So the most important thing is assessment of the cause, bring the fever down to see if the kid still is not focusing or has something called photophobia or light by this kid's eye, and that could be a hallmark that's something more serious and treatment must be given to the kid quickly. That's that correct. correct. So if the patient with a fever down still looks different, not acting normally, one has to be certain that it's not a serious infection and should be done or on an urgent basis. In late summer, a lot of kids end up in the emergency room and get spinal taps for headaches. What's that all about? Well, late summer is a common season when a certain virus comes out and it's, it's usually an enterovirus. And this, the season usually lasts from July to September, sometimes early October. Every year is different and every year uh, has its own patterns. Uh, but some years it causes quite a lot in the way of, of viral meningitis. Sometimes it will even produce seizures. Uh, and these patients will come in with a fever and a stiff neck, but look relatively good. And we'll have a spinal tap done to make sure it's not a more serious kind of inflammation. Uh, and once it looks viral, uh, we can be reassured. And most of these children do, in fact, very well with no long-term problems. But this is seasonal, and it typically occurs in late summer. And most years, the children do very well with no long-term problems. Is there any particular group in pediatrics more likely to have these problems than any other group? Uh, I don't know the answer to that question. Anecdotally, I typically see it in children over age 6, so it's from 6 to adolescence. But I don't know if the data shows that. So you're saying the bugs don't look at your age? Uh, I, I think I see it more commonly then. It might be when it's, it's noticed at that age, but I'm not sure of that answer. Okay, thank you.